Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are playing a new game, Dress Up Time Princess or Time Princess if you want to say. So my daily routine actually starts in this game by just checking out my dailies, the past um, task that we have and I am actually around chapter 2 level 18 in Queen Mary and it's been around what 3-4 to four weeks I've been playing this game and I am so far loving it. It's but obvious that as you progress in the story, further chapters are a little bit hard and you might get stuck. So I was stuck at chapter uh, 2, level 18, uh, stage 18 because I wanted to craft some material and actually increase my companion's level to level 6. So that's what I'm doing now. So that is my first step if you want me to give you some basic tips. That is my first tip. Always level up your companions while you're progressing the story every day. If you're not a VIP player, you give five attempts to actually interact with them and 16 to gift them. Use them all. Just go through the walkthroughs. They are available on internet, on the Discord server, and you will actually get an idea of what level you have to hit as a max in progress so keep on leveling your companion level because ultimately if it's not you're gonna get stuck in future like I got and you have to wait a day or two I am actually VIP 2 I guess so I can interact 10 times and give 21 gifts so that is a very nice benefit so go ahead and spend if you want to spend money on this game it's completely worth it i did not find any issues with it you can hit around vip 3 or 4 easily with one or two pass if you buy that is completely up to you but without that also it's fine and then i'm just gonna check my relic vault to see if i have any good relics but nah that's fine and then i'm just gonna collect my daily rewards these are very important so as a goal of a free to play player f2p your goal is going to be collect and complete all the daily rewards and daily tasks so there we have chapter 18 and i was not sure of this because i did not have the hair always try to click on that stage hint to understand which blueprints you need and you can actually get an idea of what you're gonna score so I was a little skeptical about it but I ended up doing pretty well I did not get a perfect here so that's a sad thing but that's fine the stories are good and they're quite interesting so you can actually follow up with the book and you might get stuck in one or two levels if you don't have the blueprint but that's fine you can craft them or you can borrow it from your friends you can add friends from their facebook their discord or from the world chat you can just ask people for a particular item you need and they can lend it out to you and you can pass a level if you're stuck on it but i found it helpful at times but i don't literally uh, borrow it from anybody till now i might do it in future if i don't have an item but that's that for a while another important tip as a beginner which i ignored is that start one book at a time and this is very important i know at times one book can get boring but believe me if you start two books at a time it's going to kind of create a lot of confusion in the puppet the fantasy fair and the puppet uh, that we have the playroom events and also the blueprints that you get in shop every four to five hours it refreshes and the blueprints you're gonna get are going to be mixed and it's gonna be hard to keep up with it and you won't be able to devote your craftable materials and your gold to one particular story and ultimately you're gonna get stuck in both of them eventually so it's an important tip but make sure you follow it another tip that i would like to give you is that save up your diamonds for here i wanted this hair for the story but it's costing diamonds so i'm not gonna buy it you are going to need your gold a lot in future so do not do not waste it on gacha believe me it's not worth it just save it you're gonna need to craft it like heck out of it and eventually you are gonna run out of it like i'm so low on gold right now i'm so poor in gold but that's fine 
you're gonna grind it and that's it that's my dailies i still have to do fashion fantasy but i already leveled up so that's it for my daily routine of the game we check on the events we do the daily task craft some material buy some blueprints you want to buy off cash or buy some consumable material you need and keep progressing gradually and eventually you're gonna get there you don't have to hurry up anything and that's it for my daily routine and a play game with me clearing out stage 18 and i'll see you in my next bye bye